the, the, the sign has come to pass. The, the sign is up. And the Bible said that Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with all people. I just want to give you a little secret. I pray that prayer every day. I pray that prayer for our children that they will grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with all people. I pray that prayer for myself and my wife uh, that we will grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with all people. I pray for Ebenezer that we'll grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with all people. I've been praying that now for about the last seven years uh, that we'll grow in wisdom and in stature. We'll grow in wisdom, our conscious knowledge of who God is. Stature that will not be the same size we used to be but we're going to get wiser, stronger and better. That, that we'll grow in favor with God. That the favor of God shall fall down upon us and open doors that we don't know how they got open and make ways we don't know how. And, but with all people that some back way down the line God is going to put somebody in your life that's going to give favor into you. It's not just going to be what God is doing. God is going to do it through somebody else to open a door and to make a way. And how it takes place, you don't even know them that well but they saw something in you and the favor of God is going to be upon you and God's going to open up doors and make some ways and so that's why I know as you enter into 2015 you have something to praise God for because you're going to grow in wisdom you're going to grow in stature you're going to grow in favor with God and you're going to grow in favor with all people look at somebody said because the sign is up uh, Ebenezer you may not realize this but Ebenezer has built three signs one was in the very beginning of the ministry in 1984 we believe in God to do great things in 1985 so God put a sign, a green sign up in front of Ebenezer and it said 1,000 souls for Christ we were believing that Christ was going to be Jesus Christ, Lord President, Lord and Savior, that was the year of the campaign and we were praying that God was going to move and lo and behold after Jesse Jackson had gotten good men out of Syria he was the most important thing in the whole world and he decided to come there but we don't know how he got there we don't know and 10,000 people tried to get in our little 500 seat sanctuary channel 4, channel 5 channel 7 and channel 9 covered it live and allowed us to be exposed across this entire community because that was the first sign and from that sign not only a thousand souls came to Christ but that year 2,000 souls came to Christ because God gives you favor with God and with people. The, 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 the next sign that was built was a sign physically outside of 7806 Allentown Road. The men of Ebenezer built that sign from the ground up. And as they built that sign with their bare hands, they believed that God was going to increase the church. And because after that sign was built, we could not stay in Ebenezer, but had to move to Friendly High School. Everybody here, get ready for your increase because the sign is up. And the third sign we have built is that sign right there. The sign as you entered in and because you sold into that sign, because you believed into that sign, the sign is now up. I ain't talking about the physical sign. I'm talking about the sign that God is going to give you in your life. Somebody here today, you're ready to bust a move in 2015 and I want you to know, God wants you to know, the sign is up. That God is praying. God has already placed it in your heart. He's giving you a sign. Now you've got to move from the sign. When Noah got the sign. He didn't stay on the, in the ark. He got out of the ark. When Abraham saw the sign, the Bible said he believed God. When Moses saw the sign, he went to Pharaoh. When Esther saw the sign, she went to the king. When Joshua saw the sign, he went to the promised land. When Mary and Joseph saw the sign, they believed this child could be the son of God. Somebody here today, the sign has already been given. The sign is up. Don't stay stuck anymore. But God wants you to know he's getting ready to do something something supernatural, something extraordinary, something spectacular for you in 2015 because you sold into a sign. Your sowing has not been in vain because you believed in a sign. Your believing has not been in vain for God is getting ready to do this supernatural, extraordinary and hallelujah. It might be something small, but don't despise small beginnings for there was an old cross that they hung my Jesus on 
come the symbol of suffering and shame but for those of us who knew the Old Testament it was a sign that the Messiah was going to come Isaiah said he was wounded for my transgressions bruised for my iniquities the chastisement my peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed they hung him high they stretched him wide he hung his head and then he died but the sign was he ain't dead he's still alive and he got up early Easter Sunday morning there's one word that has been a part of every sign that we talked about in the New Testament one was the shepherds were amazed number two Simeon was amazed number three Anna was amazed and number four Mary and Joseph was amazed can you look at somebody and tell them I'm amazed that's why I'm so glad the song may have been written for the nation but hallelujah the song has been ordained for Ebenezer because God's gonna ready to give you an amazing year God's gonna ready to give you a supernatural year that you cannot understand because the favor of God is going to be upon you. Can you look at somebody and say, it's going to be amazing. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, your mind can't comprehend what God is getting ready to do. So tap somebody real quick and tell them God is moving 